And breaking news right now, local officials say yet another Norfolk Southern train has derailed this one in White Plains, Alabama. I want to bring in NBC's Jesse Kirsch with the very latest. Jesse. Yeah, Jose, so this is information just into us from local officials in Calhoun County, Alabama. They tell us at approximately 6.45 a.m. this morning, a Norfolk Southern train derailed in what they describe as the Quad Cities area. Uh, they say there are roughly 30 cars that derailed from their initial reports. Norfolk Southern has responded and is working closely with us. That is what I'm reading from this statement from local officials. Uh, and they say there is no report of a hazmat situation there. This comes obviously in the middle of this hearing on Capitol Hill with the CEO of Norfolk Southern testifying. Uh, we've been monitoring this hearing. And so far, Jose, we have not seen the CEO be asked about this latest derailment. But this obviously comes amid a string of situations involving this rail Road, which is under intense scrutiny following that situation in East Palestine that led to a toxic leak of material in that community in eastern Ohio. So that happened. Then we had another derailment in Ohio over the weekend. And then here in Cleveland, where I am now in this community uh, this week, after that second derailment, we had a situation where, according to the company, a worker was killed in a situation involving one of their trains. So now the NTSB has opened a special investigation into this company's broader practices. And amid all of that, Jose, with all of this scrutiny, the CEO on Capitol Hill Another derailment, apparently, by this company today in Alabama, Jose. Jesse Kirsch, thank you so very much.